kind of the progression been like for you since stepping in for Cedric last season and just kind of where you grow in the last year? Um, basically just being more consistent with my craft and my work ethic and basically being a leader to the younger people and making sure that they doing what they need to do, you know, stepping up to the standard that we set. Okay. Rebel, what does your work ethic look like kind of post-practice and, and over the course of the week? Like how many footballs are you catching on the jokes machine? And uh, are you willing to, to say who led uh, the receiver room and uh, mm -hmm. balls on the jokes machine this summer? Yeah, uh, so over the summer, like from I think it was June, July, we had a catch chart. And actually, uh, Nate led the um, whole catch chart. Uh, I think the goal we set was, what, 20,000? Uh, I think he had like, what, 22,000, something like that. So we actually went above the goal. Um, but for me, I was trying to like catch like different type of balls, but I still didn't meet like the standard that we set. So that's, that's something I got to uh, fix that. But at the practice, we usually try to catch deep balls, either 30 on each side, um, or if it's just straight up like um, profile catches, you try probably get like 50 on each side, 50 each side. So it's not like a lot of work, but it's still like getting good work. So, you know, you seeing the ball to the tuck, and you see, um, feeling it um, touch your hand and stuff like that. So, yeah. Joe Milton shared with us that on that trip to New York, he had never seen you talk so much and kind of your personality showed and you opened up. Why did that trip connect with you where you were able to show that person out? I don't know why it was like that trip, but I don't know. We just had like fun. It wasn't like nothing football specific. We were just out there bonding. So I don't know. It was just, it was a different vibe too. It was in New York. So I guess that's probably another factor. Uh, how is the ball different coming out of him? Uh, you got to like really be sharp with your eyes and you got to know it's going to come with a little more pace with Joe and it's going to be more it's going to be more like zip to it so it's more I mean you, you you're going to see the ball but it's more like having stronger hands to be able to catch it really but once you catch it consistently it, it'll become natural so Patrick and then we'll go to Reed and Parker in the back what about you said the other day the Lee Cocker cost 22,000 yeah I think it was, I think that was the yeah, number yeah yeah I feel like as a group, we all have the work ethic that it, that it takes to succeed, and we push each other to that um, to the standard that we set. So it's like organic, like the whole room. It's not just not just one person, not just me, it's not just Bru, it's not just Nate, it's not just Jack. Like everybody is striving. Everybody's trying to get be better. Everybody's trying to be great. So I feel like as a room, like we keep pushing each other, we're gonna be great. So it's good. The coaching staff preaches that you're one of the big leaders. In what point did you see yourself being comfortable being that leader? Uh, I, I'll say like sometime, some point during the summer. Yeah, some point during the summer. I'm still kind of trying to work on it, but not trying to be like buddy buddy with them, but more like you, we got to get this done. And that's something I'm trying to work on. Cause like we all cool with each other. Like we can laugh and stuff like that. But when it's time to get serious, we got to lock in. So that's one thing I'm trying to work on. Parker. Oh yeah, it's just like being being more consistent. It was some days where you know I was probably tired, and I was like, all right, we we just gonna chill today. But it's like those days that that really count for real. So I gotta like make up for that. So it's, it's, it, it'll 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 get fixed. Casey, and then back to Ben. Does this season bring a sense of this is your time, your time to go do it, your time to shine at all? And how do you plan to capitalize on that? I won't say necessarily like just my time. I feel like it's our time to really go out there and prove like what, what we worked on, what, what we did all summer, what we did all from really from January to this point now. Um, just I feel like every, every time we go out to practice, like we, we feel like we're playing in a game. We're taking that approach like we're playing Bama, we're playing Georgia, we're playing Florida, like every single practice. So I feel like if we keep doing that consistently, we'll reach the goal that we set. Okay. Two things asking separately. One, why the number change? I mean, I, I really didn't like 80. I ain't gonna lie. I know, I, I know everybody like 80, but I was trying to like change it from freshman year, but they never really let me. And 
I kind of had the chance now, so I changed it. <laughs> and then what are Jalen and Cedric saying about early on their time in the NFL so far? I mean, yeah, said like it, it's, it's real, like what Pope was saying, like we, what he tell us, like once you get to, to the NFL, it's like it's, it, it get real, real. And you got to play special teams, you got to do all that, what they said. And it's, it's like, it's, it's showing the light, like what they're saying is it's going to come true. So just listen to the coaches. Patrick, what were your, your first impressions of Dante and how you think he could help you guys playing between you and Bruce? Oh, yeah, like my first impression was I, I didn't know if he was that fast at first. I thought he was kind of a little slow because he, he got a longer stride. But I mean, he doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't have a longer stride, but he has longer legs. But his stride is actually pretty short and it's, it makes him pretty quick. And I feel like he can help us like in the slot because, you know, we got like most of our receivers are over six foot, so when you see like all the receivers like six foot and can run, like it's scary to a defense. And he got hands too, and he can beat you deep. So they got to stay honest to everybody. Right, we'll go. We'll do a few more. Adam, Caleb, and then Wes, and then we'll do a few in the back. The zip on the ball that you talked about with Joe does mm -hmm. that change anything in the summer, like work on the Joe's machine a little bit, like a Joe Milton setting or anything? Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, you definitely got to turn the jug up at least one, um, one notch. Um, so instead of putting it on like four, you might put it on five instead of putting, well, it depends on what jug it is. Cause some of the older ones, you gotta probably put on like six because they shoot a little slower. But yeah, for the most part, just turning up the speed, turning up the speed and being more consistent with it. Caleb, how have you seen Squirrel White's personality come out the wide receiver room from last year compared to this year? Yeah, he, he's, he's come more out of his shell or being more, uh, being more locked in. He's, he's actually coaching like some of the younger people, like, make sure that they're getting right. So I feel like he's going to step into that, that leadership role. That's good for him. Wes? So a relative party, when you got the change to number nine, you finally got the change, you were like, hey, I finally, like, I, I did enough stuff where they let me change the number now. Is that, like, uh, unlocking an achievement or something? <laughs> no, nah, it was just, I didn't, like, pick 80. So necessarily, they just gave it to me, and I just feel like I picked this number. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I mean, I, I wore nine when I was younger. Um, Pee Wee League, but you know, not in like college or nothing like that, or high school. I, I wore 10 in high school actually, but All Squirrel right. got that. Well, back to Reed and Carver. Uh, Coach Pope says he wants to treat you guys like you're his kids. So, what is your relationship like with Coach Pope? Yeah, he's he trying to be more, what's the word? Um, I guess, not, not, not saying that he's not positive, but he's trying to be, be more positive and more. Patient, that's the word, more patient with us. Cause like he would probably like snap on Nate if it was like last year for something that di maybe he did this year, he'll be like, okay, we gotta, t we gotta move at this approach. Cause you know, he, he got a son coming. So it's more, he, he's taking a different approach on how to like get to us, how to teach us, how to um, make us reach the goal that we want. So that's good. Last question, Barbara. Uh, just the other day, he just caught a um, what was it like a sixty-yard bomb? Shit, it was like, and it, it was it was actually good for him because he was working on it. He couldn't get it right, and then all of a sudden, in the team set in the team segment, he got it right, and you know that's just how how it worked. Like you know, just keep going. Thanks for Mel. Thanks everybody.